And then, you know, nominated, even been in that, you know, conversation, I feel like it's just a blessing. From where I came from, you know, in high school, I, I wasn't the biggest, you know, recruit or, you know, the biggest person, even when I got here as a freshman. So I just feel like it just shows how much hard work pays off. And, you know, it's an honor to be, you know, nominated. <laughs> I'm Mark Sasser with UH Basketball. Go Cougs. I started basketball when I was around three. Always there, you know, my family's very real competitive. Um, we always had little basketball goals around the house. We was always at the gym every weekend, so I just kind of grew up into basketball. Marcus, as a young boy, was just um, a boy. He was a bad boy. You know, he liked to be outside. We did have a basketball goal outside, so basketball till late in the evening was, you know, very common. Um, hanging out at the gym with his dad, his uncles, and his older brother was, you know, that was commonplace every Saturday. As a young boy, you know, you couldn't get on the court until you could hang with the big dogs, as they said. And uh, as soon as he was big enough and tough enough, you know, as he thought he could take a few bumps and bruises, he got out there with him and he's been playing ball ever since. My uncle was the head coach at Red Oak, so, you know, it was kind of, it was a good learning lesson, you know. That's when I first started getting college offers and stuff like that, so I, I would always ask him for advice or um, ask him for different tips, you know, and he would always just give me, you know, the right answer. And, you know, he never just, you know, told me the things I wanted to hear or nothing like that. He always told me what I needed to hear and would help improve my game. My time here at U of H has been Great, you know, it's been, of course, a roller coaster of ups and downs, you know, but I feel like that's everybody. It's, um, I feel like I became a better basketball player here, but also a better person. The coaching staff up here is great, you know, they they care about you, not just on the court, but off the court, you know, they're also great people. So just being here really, I feel like it helped me become a better man. But like I said, also a better basketball player, you know, I feel like I've met a lot of new family members that we're going to have long time, long life relationships with. Playing for Coach Sampson, you know, you got to be mentally tough. Um, you got to have thick skin, you know. It's not it ain't, it's not easy, but, you know, it's always a meaning behind what he does. And, you know, he's great at it. He's a um, Hall of Famer coach, of course. And it might not be pretty or it might not be cool the way he do it, but at the end of the day, it's going to work. There's a lot of kids that act tough, but they're not. Marcus is a tough, tough young man. Comes from a great family, Tonkles that played in the NBA. His father's a sheriff in Dallas County. Comes from a great leadership stock. His integrity and character is impeccable. It's been a thrill and an honor uh, to coach uh, Marcus. And um, I've only got him for about two more months. And I'm, I'm going to enjoy every minute of it because he's one of those kids you'll miss. I give me make it all the way back to, um, you know, the final four and make it back to Houston. I feel like it'll be, you know, a once in a lifetime thing. I don't think a lot of people in the world ever get to do that, play the um, final four in their hometown or the college. So um, it's kind of a little motivational thing for us. You know, we want to get back home and play in front of our fans, of course, in the final four. But we also know how much pressure it is. So, you know, we just got to come here every day and get to work and, you know, try to get back to the final four. I had two uncles that played in the NBA, um, Jason Sasser and Joe Sasser, and you know, they always, like I said, everybody competitive in our family, you know, that's one thing that they always say they got over me right now, you know, they always say you ain't made it yet, or things like that, so as a, that's another thing, you know, that motivates me to try to get me there to that level so I can finally tell them, you know, I made it here, and they don't really have that much on me no more.